Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking the vibe. It means a lot to you guys keep clicking. If you guys keep clicking, I'll keep making. And I'm no stranger to being called out by these Survivor players. They love calling me out and they hate hearing what I have to say. They see me as a threat and it, I understand exactly why. I've been called out by Shan after making several videos on what I thought of her and her race alliance as well as her personality. I feel like I'm no stranger to this. I've seen it in the past. Um, with, with this season and also last season, we're getting a lot more people who are angry at me because in this video, we're going to look over uh, that I've been called out by not only Carla in, in the past week, but also Omar. So two people who I wouldn't really expect it from, although I can really say I kind of expected it from Carla. So Carla called me out on Twitter and Omar not only called me out on Twitter, blocked me and made merch with my thumbnails on it, guys. It's going to be a fun, fun video. So let's get into it. Of course, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff because it's free, it's easy, and it really helps the channel out. Okay, so before I get into kind of the headliner of this video, uh, being obviously Carla and really more so Omar, um, I think it's important to just get some context around this. So I made videos about Shan last year, and that kind of really skyrocketed my channel, made my channel a little bit more political, uh, as well as being obviously focused on Survivor, but definitely more uh, political. You know, I had personal feelings about Shan. I thought she was kind of ruining the game, and I voiced those. I didn't really think it was going to be a big deal, but I ended up getting a big uproar from the Survivor community. Since then, I've been countlessly times called out on Twitter by randos, by players. I've been called out on the Survivor subreddit. These people hate me. They hate what I stand for. They hate that I'm speaking my mind and they want me to fit the mold. They don't want me to go off script and say the truth because everything I've said, I've backed up with nothing but fact. Uh, again, anytime these people call me out, it's always a quick jab or making fun of my stutter. It's never actual facts or pulling the age card about how I'm 16 and one day I'll just get older and agree with them. You know, these people never have those arguments and facts behind what they're saying. And no wonder. I gotta say, my favorite thing to do when these people come at me with, you know, you don't understand because you're just a white male. You don't understand them, the minority perspective. You can never fathom living as a minority. As I tell them, I'm black. And they immediately just melt. They they completely fall apart. They're like, wait, wait, what? No, no, no. Um, um, well. And it's just, it's so funny to watch. And, you know, I, I've actually had people tell me, no, you're not black. I don't believe you. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm sorry that you don't believe. I, it's so funny to watch because these people's logic is that if you look a certain way you have to think that way your looks match up with how you think they love to empower black voices until the black voices don't agree with them a perfect example of this was NECA they all when the cast came out said NECA you know a beautiful African queen and then as soon as they realized that NECA followed people like Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro conservative people uh, they basically said you know we're happy that you're going home even though it's three women of color that's going home in a row I'm happy that NECA went home because she's an anti-vaxxer and I hate her and they were going after this old lady who did nothing wrong she did absolutely nothing wrong she's sweet as pie and they went after her with that viciousness and it shows that they can talk about you know uplifting black voices but it's only the ones that prop up their own ideals and so now let's get into what carla and omar posted i think they, they they took it pretty well they were pretty like mature about it and they actually made a joke about it that i thought we, we, we could all laugh at which honestly if anything i can respect from them there's much more immature ways to go about it and i feel like shan kind of demonstrated what that was so first we have carla so carla basically tweets that her nephew watches my videos and came up to her confronting her about her hatred for white people which i thought was absolutely hilarious i thought that was one of the funniest things i've seen um and i i got a nice kick out of it i even retweeted it and said this is absolutely hilarious i think this one actually ended up pretty well where we all kind of took it as a joke no one really took it seriously at least i hope carla didn't uh it seems like she at least got a nice kick out of it and if anything this is how I, i'd want it to go i'm sure carla's maybe a little bit salty about it because her own nephew's watching my uh, videos and again carla's nephew what's up bro i feel like in the end this was a much better way that it could have gone um and i think i've seen worse in the past specifically on the survivor subreddit uh where they went after me specifically after the drea episode where they could feel that i was about to make a big video on what drea and marianne did in that episode where they basically just called people out for voting on the basis of strategy and saying that because the color of the players uh, matched up for two or three 
rounds in a row that there was some sort of dangerous pattern. These people knew that I was about to call the, them out for, for that absolute bullshittery. And so they struck first. They called me and and anyone who s subscribes to my channel a Ku Klux Klan member, man, that is crazy. It just shows that like the, these people who claim to be so tolerant are the most racist people you will ever find out there. Who calls a black dude a Ku Klux Klan? That is a, that is a whole other level, bro. That is crazy. And the next one is Omar. Uh, Omar tweets out this picture. Now, I can't get the tweet because sadly, Omar has me blocked. Why? I have no idea. I've praised this man's game so much. I've said it's the best in, in the new era, and I think it's going to be better than Jesse's game from this season. I think he's, he's played a fantastic game, and he's not really a big fan of me. He, he does not reciprocate that respect uh in fact he he made this shirt which i actually think is absolutely hilarious you can see it's being worn by the woman in the middle it has my thumbnail from a preseason video where i checked out his e w bio and he was saying a bunch of male feminist stuff so i called him a male feminist in the title uh, and he of course made it a t-shirt i actually love this because again j just like carly he's taking it on the chin making it a joke keeping it positive i can definitely respect this over hurling insults or getting angry again like shan did last season so in general to close it out i i think it's important to point out that every time that my name gets posted in bad context People saying he's an evil person. I hate this guy. He's such a racist. What a racist Ku Klux -Klu Klan member. Someone comes to my channel expecting some crazy Nazi person and they find a dude who kind of spits facts. And again, I see this all of the, the, the time. There's a, a comment that says that I came from Carla's Twitter, but then I watched your videos and now I'm a huge fan of you. I love seeing comments like those again the truth will spread no matter how much you hate or try to suppress it and if you told me that i would be here uh, a year and a, and a half ago when i started this channel doing what i'm doing getting the recognition of these people you know the people on the show i i would have slapped you across the face it's an absolute dream come true and i will continue to do this uh, as long as i possibly can if you didn't know i post monday Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday videos on the current season and sometimes future season. Uh, I know I, I've put out two Survivor 44 videos so far uh, this past week. On top of that, I have a live recap show with my friends on Wednesday nights right after the episode airs so turn on post notifications to get notified when that goes live i also have a podcast on the weekend so check that out as well as always none of this happens without you guys and if that's it i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace